I'm on set today with the very cool and talented Isamaya French, talking party makeup, but expect the unexpected. You know, when I think party makeup, okay, I'm gonna take out the glitter, I'm gonna take out the smoky, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. take out the red lipstick, <laughs> I'm gonna just pile it all on, I'm gonna look like a Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Your approach to makeup is very different. It's incredibly artistic. My personal yeah. aesthetic is, yeah, like the, that raw edge. I think that's, that's what you should be celebrating. They should wear the makeup, not the makeup wearing them. And I think that's often what happens when you wear yeah, 24 somewhere. products on your face. Where are you <laughs> behind all of those uh, things? No, we're, we're 30 we're in 30, my case. Yeah, but then again, it's just, you know, but if that's how you like to wear your makeup, that's how you like to wear your makeup. When you're shooting, how do you approach, and obviously I know it's a collaboration between stylist, the art director, mm. the photographer, and so on, but when you think about the makeup, where do you start? Makeup referencing is a tricky one because there's like, you know, a million makeup artists, and if you're just looking at their work, you're just going to do what they've done. So don't look at any of that, no. just, yeah, look in like graphic design books, typography. People always say, you know, let's do stuff that's on trend, there are trends. Yeah. There's a reason for doing things that are on trend, obviously, because it satisfies a desire of what people are after, but you won't do anything new. I feel like it's time for me to find a new idea, yeah. a new inspiration. The way I'd approach it would be to look at the makeup that you're going to put on and see it as a piece of jewellery, especially say you're wearing dark colours or you're wearing black today. Always black. You can do a pop of colour in yeah. your makeup and it won't look so extreme. So, look number one. This is really, really great, just any eye colour. What colour is that? I would say like <laughs> aubergine. Yeah, eggplant. exactly, yeah. <laughs> You can kind of blend it as well. Yeah. See how kind of red that and is. And would you wear a black mascara underneath or wear that neat and you get enough? I it? just wear the neat. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You'll see actually that it's not really that extreme. So you do this before you put shadow on? I just go out with it just on the lash and on the uh, on the eyelid. Oh, do you know what? I have like hazel eyes, but I've got a little bit of green in it. Yeah. And I feel like this brings a bit of the green out. People. You know, I would have never thought of wearing it this looks, color. But it looks lovely. It's yeah. just, just a hint. Let's have a look at the next step. It's really just about adding a little more of these red tones into the eye area. This palette, for example, you've got this dark aubergine again, which will work very nicely with the mascara. Really, I'm just kind of going over the mascara and just working it up. And go on the lid as well. There you go. And get your finger involved if you want. It's a party look. It's going to be dark. It's going to get smudgy anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I look more awake as well. Yeah. I love a lip stain, and these are really great lip stains. They're kiss and blush. I mean, you can kind of use this product anywhere, but it's great on the cheek because it's just like a cream blush. What would you put on the lips to finish it all off? Just like a gloss. Just something kind of lightweight. It's a party, so it's nice exactly. to have something on your lip. You have a smoky eye, it's just not but it's your not black the or brown smoky eye, yeah. It's very much, very different from what I would do. It's more fresh and glowy rather than dark and sexy. Exactly. Which yeah. I like. Yeah. Red lipstick is such a beauty classic, especially, you know, party time, Christmas time, it's kind of red, red, red. But there are so many different reds in different ways of wearing red. What is your method of working it out? I wanted to do something more matte with you anyway. Okay. <laughs> Putting them up like this, it's very helpful. I can really <laughs> see, yeah, I've never thought of I that. I mean, that's super bright, but would look amazing sort of midsummer. Whereas these two kind of allude to that more kind of autumnal feeling. Take your touche clap and just around the top of the lip here, highlight that area and also around the bottom corner of the mouth here. This just adds an extra dimension to your lips. Oh, wow. You can't do it after you put your lipstick on because it would smudge it, but if you right. do it before, then you can go right up to the edge with your lipstick. Go really slow and follow the lines. I'm in lipstick school. <laughs> and this is my exam. <laughs> is she passing or not? The way to get really good control is to start from the inside and just work it out. Okay, so we've done the lips and we're doing brows after. Now, is that how you would normally do it? I guess if you're going to have a red lip, it's a statement. And so if you want to, you know, work on your brows, it's important to get the balance. You're going to be using one of those brow mascaras, which yes. I love. <laughs> I think they're so easy. They are. And actually what's amazing about them is you can brush them into your eyebrow and then blend them in very slightly as well. So I kind of start from the middle and brush it out like this. So I'm basically back combing 
the product into the eyebrow. I've totally done the opposite. Honestly, I'm starting to feel like those cool French girls with, the, <laughs> with their bushy brows and, and like, their red lip and they're kind of thrown on. <laughs> Insouciant red lip. <laughs> they are perfect. Do you think that you'd wear this kind of look out? I know you said you didn't really wear a red lip. Genuinely, I would. I really love it. I would have never thought of just wearing it with a brow. So thank you so much oh, for that. Great. Smile. And uh, and definitely inspired me. And I think everyone who's watching. <laughs>